Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another beautiful today. Today, we are going to be talking about living and non-living things, and we're going to be looking at some examples of them. But before we can get into that, we need to know what our definitions of living and non-living are. So let's start with living. Living things are something that grows or develops, uses energy, reproduces, is made of cells, adapts, and responds to its environment. While non-living things are things that it's something that is not and never was alive. So they are opposites. You might also hear throughout this unit the term biotic. Biotic is another way of saying something that is living, the living factors in an environment. Now the opposite um, antonym of biotic is abiotic which is non-living factors in an environment. So I want you to pause this video, make sure you've taken these definitions down before you continue to the next part. All right, so I'm gonna take away the biotic and the abiotic for right now, just to save us some room. And we are going to be looking at different examples and determining whether something is living or non-living. I'm gonna hold out a card to the camera and I'm gonna give you about two seconds to decide whether you think the item or the organism is living or non-living. The first one is rocks. If you said non-living, you are correct. Rocks are things that are not and never were alive. Now this one is one that you may not know, limpets. These are actually living. Limb pets are these tiny little creatures that have shells that live in tide pools. So limb pets are living. What about sand? If you said non-living, you are correct. Sand is a non-living item. What about a hermit crab? Hermit crabs are living. Ooh, what about red algae? Red algae. It is living. It develops, it uses energy, it reproduces, it's made of cells, so it is a living organism. Eelgrass. If you said living, you are correct. Eelglass eel grass is a type of plant that lives in tide pools. Let me scoot this over just a little bit because we're going to need a little more room. What about a sea anemone? If you said living, you are correct. Sea anemones are a type of plant that live in tide pools and in the ocean that actually work with other animals to give them homes. What about salt? Salt is non-living. It is a mineral that was never alive and it never will be. Barnacles. This one could be tricky. Barnacles are technically alive. They are tiny little organisms that live in coral reefs, in tide pools, that work together and reproduce to create what we see. What about a sea star? Sea stars are living. What about bacteria? Very, very tiny, we can't see them. Is that gonna be living or non-living? They are living. Bacteria grow, they reproduce, they adapt, they are living. Now last, but certainly not least, is water. And we know that water in and of itself is non-living. So as you're going through the next pieces of this unit, make sure that you are not only thinking about the definitions for living and non-living, but also thinking about 
biotic and abiotic as well. I'm trying to fit all this on here. In the next assignment, you will be asked to sort and determine whether given organisms or items are living or non-living. So when you're thinking about this, just remember, living is something that grows, develops, uses energy, reproduces, it's made of cells, it adapts and responds to its environment. All right, well, thanks everybody. See you next time.